family and friends say goodbye to Sandra and Zach Sutton. Well, the mother and son were murdered last week in Clinton. Police say by James Horn Jr., who ultimately died in a gun battle with police. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth was at the funeral and is now live from Clinton with more. Josh. Yeah, Sandra Kay and her son Zach, their funeral ended about 90 minutes ago, and with it came this handout with the famous iconic poem, Footprints in the Sand. Now, certainly there's been a giant footprint left here in Clinton following this tragedy that finally came to a close today. Roughly 200 friends and family gathered at Clinton Christian Church today for the double funeral of Sandra Kay and Zach Sutton. Police say James Horn shot and killed them last Thursday. While still under the shadow of tragedy, today was about remembering the last several years, not the last six days. He was always a good kid, never got in trouble, never argued with anyone, and he never tried to make anyone's day bad. He always tried to help people out. Much of the remembrance focused on Zach, who was a junior ROTC cadet with plans to enlist in the Army next year. His friends with the ROTC program honored him today. We're showing our appreciation back that he was involved in that we just appreciate what he's done. It means a lot to me. I'm glad that I could do it. I'm glad that I could be on the team to show that we care for our, all the students at CHS. Zach would have been a senior at Clinton High School this fall. His mother, Sandra Kay, would have been 43 in August. Her other daughters, two of them, were also in attendance, one even reading a beautiful poem to her in dedication. Reporting live from Clinton, Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News.